All right, uh, we are here for the G2 Fall Festival uh, Volleyball Championships here in Seattle. Um, we're with Gannon University and uh, co head coach Matt Darling and players Maddie Blake and Maggie Greenfield. Uh, coach, we'll start with you. Give us a, a little recap of, of your season um, and just describe how uh, the season uh, prepared you to, to get back to this moment. We, our season has been a, a pretty exciting one. Um, it, the excitement at the beginning of the season was the kind of excitement that you get from a, new, from a certain newness. Uh, we lost eight players from last year's team, including uh, all eight of them played, and four of them were former All-Americans. And, you know, we knew that this was going to be, one way or another, this was going to be a new look for us. And so um, I think that a lot of the excitement at the beginning of the season was the excitement of the unknown. Uh, and then, as we've progressed through the season, and this group has sort of come together, uh, we've had a different kind of excitement, the kind of excitement that, um, if I'm being 100% honest, I wasn't sure this group was going to experience, which was that sort of like championship excitement. And, um, but, you know, over the past maybe three weeks, we've really put it together, and um, it's been exciting in a, in, a, in a much different way than the way the season started. And then you talked about uh, some of the differences with last year. I guess what roles have you asked Maggie and Maddie to embrace and be a little bit different this year? Uh, each of them had a very specific and important role. Uh, these are two of our three captains. Um, Maggie's role as a fifth-year returner, uh, someone who's been a starter in this kind of environment uh, a couple of times before. You know, we really asked her to you know produce and to you know sort of set the tone for for the expectations. Um, and Maddie Blake uh, has had to do a lot actually. Um, you know, she's been the emotional core of the team throughout the entire season. And this year we asked her to, to do a lot more on the court. She has to uh, score points. She has to play back row. She's been six rotations for us. And that's a big ask uh, for someone who hadn't necessarily had to do those things before. And um, to her credit, I think the, the first third of the season, uh, she had to work her way through some of the ups and downs of that. I think you know it's, it's almost unfair how much we had to ask her to do. And I think she maybe felt the pressure of that a little bit. But, um, you know, as she has done with every other challenge she's faced since she's been a Gannon, she was up to it and um, has, has really grown into it and, uh, yeah, and has taken a star turn for us even. And then, Maddie, I'm going to uh, just follow up on that, um, on your role changing um, and then where that has led your team. What, what do you take from your experience last year in the Elite Eight um, through this, you know, kind of the early season adjustments that you guys made into how you finished? What, what do you think were the big keys to that development? Yeah, so I would say last year one of my biggest roles was to be a teammate and um, that's really kind of been my job for my first two years here at Gannon and then going into this beginning of the season I, I'll admit I was I was kind of a head case. I couldn't like I couldn't really feel the game and I couldn't really like play the way that I felt I needed to play for my teammates, and um, I was talking to someone, and I said, "You know, I can't. I can't do this. I I can't hit 200. I can't get 10 kills a game. I can't dig a ball. I can't pass serve receive." She's like, "Is that all you need to do for this team?" And I was like, "Well, yeah. I just have to produce." And she's like, "No, you have to be a teammate first. So um, once I shifted that, I think that was for me a big part of the rest of the season. Um, any success that I've had is not because of me, but it's because of the 15 other girls who believe in me to do so and coach and our assistant Tyler. So, I mean, the result of our successes, or our success is really just a result of everybody being bought in and believing in each other 100%. And then Maggie, also touching on last year's experience, what, um what did last year's experience give you that, that, I guess, makes this year a little bit different? Yeah, that's a, that's a big question. I think um, the biggest thing for me is just uh, figuring out what these girls need from me and what coach needs from me. Like, at the end of the season last year, we fall short, but going into this year, thinking, okay, how can we make that better? What can we do differently next time? And kind of using those things we've learned in that experience and then also providing the girls who like haven't been in this experience before a kind of 
uh, example of like what to follow, how to handle the big environment, all the new stuff, all the traveling. So I think that's been kind of my role in this experience is just being able to provide that, like um, being in that experience before and then pro showing them how to handle it now. Perfect. Uh, Coach, as you look at your team, uh, looking at the stats for you guys, you're incredibly balanced. Um, what, what does your team need to do to be successful in, in a stage like this? We are probably at our best when we have that kind of balance. Um, I think most teams are. The reality is that sometimes you have to win when someone's having an off day and, and someone else has to step up. We've won that way also. Um, in recent weeks, we've won a number of different ways. So I'm not you know, maybe just going to limit us to a, to a certain thing. Um, but one of the things that we'll talk about leading up to tomorrow night is um, you know, we just have to focus on what we're good at. And we know that you, know, you do scouting, you say, well, OK, this is what we we probably should do against this team. Um, and maybe that's our strength and maybe that's not. So we've kind of shipped, moved away from that in recent weeks and just really talked about, like, here's the things that we think we can be really good at. Um, I, you know, I'm overwhelmed with, overwhelmingly impressed with, with what this group has done this year. Um, you know, it's, we're, we're here at the Elite Eight and it's a place we've been recently, but I, I can't emphasize enough how, like, this is a totally different team than last year, totally. Temperamentally, the way we run our offense, I mean, everything is different. And so, um, you know, this group has really sort of achieved it on its own, and it hasn't looked the same way every time. So I'm hoping that we have a couple ways forward uh, to be successful. Uh, we know how we're going to start. I'm not going to talk about it exactly right now, but, um, <laughs> but there's things that we know we want to do tomorrow, and um, if that doesn't work, we'll go to plan B. And if that doesn't work, we'll go to plan C. This group has, has done it a lot of different ways this year, luckily. Well, you led right into it. Uh, what do you know about your opponent, and uh, what are, I guess, when all is said and done, you look at the, look at the stat sheet, or you just look at the your team at the end of the game. Um, how do you define success in this matchup? Uh, yeah, we have a lot of respect for our opponent. First of all, there, um, Cal State LA has got just really good firepower uh, and great size. They score on offense, but they score a lot on blocking and serving. Uh, they're tough. They're going to be really tough. It's a, it's a great challenge for us. We're looking forward to, to that. Um, you know, you get to the tournament, and, and one of the measures of success, of course, is, you know, did you win? Um, that's the, the measure of success that we're focusing on, is just trying to find a way forward to the next round. Um, you know, if that's not your fate, uh, if that's not the result, then you talk about other measures of success. But we'll, um, we'll try to find our way forward and then get to those others later. Okay, just a couple more questions for, for your athletes. So Maggie, uh, was there any match or any point this year um, where you, you realized that you know, kind of getting back to this point was, was realistic? I know the start of the season was slow. I was like, um, you know, kind of that tournament early in the year. Did you guys, or did you imagine at that point that, oh, that's so far away? Uh, but when did it kind of come back to reality and say, no, we, we can get there? Yeah, I mean, I think Honestly, it started at conference. Like, I think the turning point for us was winning the PSAC. Like, that was kind of our goal at the beginning of the year. We've fallen short in the PSAC a couple of years in a row, and <laughs> um, so that was kind of a big thing. We just really wanted to win a PSAC, and when we won the PSAC, we kind of had a running joke, and we were like, well, let's mess around and win the regionals. Let's, <laughs> and it kind of just went from there. So I think that was kind of our turning point. We were like, wow, like, you know, we can really do this. That gave us the confidence of like, we can really do this. And we kind of just ran with that going into regionals. We're like, you know, we want a PSAC, we can win the regionals. So that's just kind of been our running joke this year is let's mess around and win a regional. Let's mess around and win a national championship. <laughs> okay. uh, Maddie, um, your coach talked a little bit about it when we were talking about the balance of the team and you never know who's going to be on one night or the next. Um, and also, he also, I think all of you have talked about how much different this year's team is than last year. I guess what would you say describes this team? What is the intangible thing? I mean, I, I can't really identify it on paper necessarily in wins or losses or in stats, but what is the X factor, I guess you would call it, that makes this group special? This might sound cheesy, but it is 100% love. It's love for the game, it's love for each other, and it's love in winning. Everything we do is out of love and it's out of competitiveness and I think that is really what has led to all of our success is
doing things selflessly for one another because we love them. It's like the funny bus rides home that make us excited to go back to practice the next day. And it's really just been what, the best team that I've ever been on this whole year and just a place where I feel so much love and from everybody that we associate with. Well, very good. I'm excited to see you guys play. Thanks. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks so much.